Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. So today I figured I'll review yet another low budget horror flick. Because why the hell not? That's what I do. I like spooky movies anyway, or, or whatever. So yeah, that's the thing though. I just figured I'd just do this because of course it's my favorite genre. It's a blast from the past. And yes, it's a something that's fairly obscured, I guess in some ways. But anyway. Yeah, this is the film I want to talk about, because why not, I guess. And the thing is that, this is a Spanish movie, of course, and this is the the English dub version I'm talking about. And it went under several different titles, for whatever reason. I think that's, that's kind of bizarre if you think about it. It makes it confusing, for those who don't know. But, there you have it, I guess, whatever. So anyway, of course, as always, let's talk about the plot, shall we? So here we go. Oh yeah. Anyway, but yeah, this I'm kind of just reviewing this out, out of order in some ways because this is supposed to be the third installment of a franchise, by the way. So just letting you know. But anyway, this pretty much follows this group of people, and things get pretty wide as you may expect. A pair of swimsuit motors are out in a boat. To stage this publicity stunt by appearing to be stranded. So yes, they do discover a mysterious place, so to speak. Now this place is covered in mist and just really weird in the visuals. Stuff, just weird shit is going on. Just weird things, I guess. One of the model's roommates do follow this fellow model who pretty much has pretty much let's say a lesbian crush on our friend confronts the owner of the modern agency who hired them uh, out to her friend, this wealthy and businessman, so to speak, behind this crazy wild stunt. The roommate is taken hostage when she discovers that her friend has gone missing. And yeah, things get pretty damn crazy. And yes, there's also something sinister that uh, one of the business henchmen has done. Let's just put it that way, folks. So, yeah, it has something to do with modeling, swimsuits, and all that jazz. And just, yeah, things really do get out of control. But it's a horror movie. It's, of course that's going to happen. Oh, boy. Can you just imagine you're just on the on the beach, and there's these two women. At least one of them has a crush on the other. And things seem to be going quite swell. Oh yeah, nothing wrong. There's nothing crazy going on. But suddenly, there's some crazy weird shit going on. All of a sudden, how do you want to do? You're just trying to have some fun. And that's it. And I guess you can't have any fun because there's some creatures out there or whatnot. Some monsters or whatever. And just some weird things going on. You but you don't want, you just want to have some fun. That's it. You just want to relax. Or maybe try to increase your... Uh, how do I say this? Make the stunts to get more popular, to, to get your career moving and whatnot. So anyway, pretty much what's happening is that, here is that the living corpses of these saint or worshiping knights hunt for these human victims in this place. So yes, of course, it's going to get rather crazy and shit. Of course it would. Of course it would. Obviously. And things just get crazier and crazier as it goes, of course. And this is pretty much what happens here. And I'll just leave it at that, folks. Because got to make it interesting somehow, right? Folks, of course. i keep things interesting, obviously. But yeah, there's also this whole thing with this professor who learns that there's something that's been stranded in some kind of place. And then the crew... Uh, let's just say there's something in, in terms of zombies. So yeah, there's like a zombie thing. But uh, at least their interpretation of zombies, I guess you would say, when you think about it. So there was that, of course. Yeah, things get pretty crazy. As, of course, you might expect. And yes, yeah, of course, when it comes to horror movies, of course, it's going to have a, this bizarre setting. You think about it? Uh, of course it would. Of course. Put them stranded in this area, of course. That's going to happen, obviously. And the material that they use, they're trying to use it, the people who made this movie, 
to uh, use it as a way to for some effective and whatnot. Of course, it's gonna be rather odd, of course, obviously. Anyway, but yeah, this one is obviously gonna be one of these types of movies. But by the way, that one of the reasons I'm kind of reviewing this out of order is that this one doesn't really have anything to do with the other titles, by the way. Except for maybe maybe a few things, maybe loosely connected, I guess, in some to some extent, maybe it's loosely connected. But anyway. It's like, like very loosely connected, at least to some extent, I guess. It's maybe it's connected in theme ish kind of way. But anyway, yeah, this one's uh, it, this one's fine, I suppose. And I know a lot of people, the fan of the series, didn't care for this really, but I, I thought it was fine. I, I liked it. I liked what, what they were trying to do in the grand scheme of things. The people who are fans of the series, anyway. Of course, there's going to be some fans out there, really. But personally speaking, I, I thought it was fine. I thought it did its job, what he's trying to do. And I'm not going to say this was exactly a perfect movie by any means, because it isn't. But it's, it does its job. It does what it's supposed to. So I don't mind, really. But the only thing that really bothers me, if anything, is that it's poorly dubbed, really. The dub isn't particularly great by any means. That's not the only thing that really bothers me, personally speaking. Oh, uh, boy. Anyway, if we can get around that, I guess it's fine. It's whatever. Anyway, I'll give this a Nova Val rating of a 7.0. It's a 7.0 for me. Thanks for watching, and take care. See you.